My friends, it is I, Jack, the helpful reindeer. Fun fact about reindeers that you probably didn't know. Reindeers love Christmas, but the rest of the year, we love helping our friends. So that is why I am here today instead of your normal uh, student minister, John Sinclair, uh, Jack the reindeer is here because Today, we are talking about a story about a man who got some really, really, really good help from his really good friends. Today's story that we're gonna talk about is about a man who was paralyzed, a man who couldn't move at all, but he really, really, really wanted to see Jesus. So what happened? His friends came and helped him out. His friends came and helped him out in one of the coolest ways that I've ever heard of. He couldn't get into a house because the house was too crowded. So what did they do? Well, of course, they asked everybody politely to move, and then they all moved, and then he uh, got carried into the house by his friends, right? No, no, it's actually, it's bigger than that. It's more exciting than that. What happened was he opened the roof. He opened the roof, and then he lowered his friend down, the friends. The friends lowered their friend down through the roof. It's crazy, right? Have you ever heard of such a thing that you can't get into a house? So what do you do? Of course, you break a hole in the roof. That makes perfect sense, right? Right? Okay, so now here's the thing though, is that I have a friend myself. So we're talking about helping friends today. But I have a friend myself who very much is in need of help. Okay, this friend of mine, he was riding on his bicycle the other day and he found that all of a sudden his bicycle stopped. And then he got off the bicycle and he was pressing on the tires and the tires, they were like, uh, they were like, uh, um, they, they didn't have any, um, uh, they wouldn't really go. Now, we couldn't figure this out, me and my friend. Do you guys have any ideas about what might be wrong with this bicycle? The tires, they were really like, you pressed on them. So if you could just unmute and just tell me what you think might be wrong with this bicycle. Um, because the tire, because the tire would be flat because it had no air. Flat, flat. That is a very, very good word. Flat, flat. You need a pump. You need a pump. This is very exciting. This is very, Olive, did you have maybe an idea about what, do you maybe, do you know where I could get up? One of these, Freddie was doing this, this pump. Do you know where I could get one of those? Anybody? Anybody? Well, what, what about this? What about this? Uh, from from yeah. a 
from a tool from a hardware store or okay, that's, a hardware store home. is a great idea uh i'm seeing bob seiler says wheelworks which is a bicycle store which is also a good idea but okay now violet if you had a pump would you give it to me to help my friend yeah yeah, yes, okay, good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, now, so we have already established that this gang of kids is very, very helpful. Just like the friends in the story who lower the guy down so he could go hang out with Jesus, right? In fact, I wonder, would it be okay if, if I called us the very helpful gang do you think that's a good idea? We are the very helpful gang, you think? The thing, is that a good name for us, Freddie? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, good name. That's a good name, okay. Oh, um, what, what about, oh, hello, Buzz Lightyear. It's very um, nice to meet you. My name is Jack the Reindeer. Um, okay, so we are the very helpful gang. Um, the very helpful Hillside Sanctuary gang. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Anybody else have any ideas? Because I, I, I don't want to leave anybody out. Hillside Gang, uh, that's Reverend Wendy's idea. Uh, Reverend Wendy is, as far as I can tell, not a child. So uh, I think we're gonna, um, we're gonna keep soliciting. Anybody else have any good, good name ideas? Oh, it seems like Freddie might have an idea. Um, because, because um, um, how about Hillside Community Church? Hillside gang. Community Church Gang. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, we got Hillside Community Church, but Freddie also had an idea. So I would like to hear Freddie's idea really quick. A church. A church. A church. Um, okay. I'm into it. I'm very, very into it. Okay, a church, a Hillside Community Church helping gang. Okay, this is very exciting. Now, Friends, I have, since we are the problem solving, very helpful Hillside Church, Church Community Church gang, I have one more problem for us to solve. Now, a little while ago, we had a little broadcast from a guy who was over in a, a very boring puppet farm, and he has a problem with his horse. It's very sad because the horse is his main mode of transportation. The problem is, this horse is very stinky. If you've ever been around a horse before, yes, incredibly stinky. It's an incredibly stinky horse, and he loves this horse, but he doesn't want to take, a, you know, take it back to the horse store and get a less stinky horse. So I'm trying to figure out what he can do. <laughs> so we maybe change the horse's uh, diaper, I think was the word you were looking for, Freddie. This is good. Oh. Give him a bath. Give the horse a bath. That is a very good idea. Give the horse a bath. Okay. Any other ideas? Because I was thinking too that we could maybe try like something that smells good, right? We could like put something that smells good near the horse. Does anybody have any uh, ideas? Anybody at all? Shampoo. Shampoo is a great soap. idea. Shampoo, soap. Okay. I'm just going to review really quickly. We got a um, uh, 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 bath for the horse, shampoo and so soap for the horse. We got um, 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 shampoo, bath, change the horse's diaper, okay. But what about something that smells really good? Could we maybe like try something that smells really good? Like, like what, could we, what could we put on the horse that like smells really good after we give it a bath to make sure that if the horse gets stinky again, what, 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 what's a good smelling thing? Put some shampoo on the diaper. No. <laughs> you could also use shampoo in the diaper. This is a really good, I see where we're going here, but what is like um, something that um, is coming um, out of the- Mama, 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 mama. Go ahead. Um, maybe we could put flowers on oh. a balloon and then decorate their horse all over. Perfume? Perfume, perfume and flowers. Is that a gift that we would like to give to uh, to our friend out there on the very boring puppet farm? 
Think that's a good idea? Okay, we as the very helpful gang are gonna give a bundle of flowers to Pastor John over there on the very uh, boring puppet farm. And, uh, oh, let's see, uh, just, just one second over here. Hello, children. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much for saving my horse from having to go back to the horse store and get re, uh, re smellified. I'm so very glad that you have helped me out today. For today, I have a very good smelling horse, my horse Dwayne. In fact, I think I want to sing a song about it. Would you like that? I've been experimenting with a new genre. <clears throat> a genre is a fancy word for the kind of song that you sing. And this I've heard tell is called rock and roll. Let's see. <clears throat> I was so sad because my horse smelled very bad. Then the very helpful gang gave me flowers for his mane. And it smelled much better instead. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mama for my flowers from the very helpful gang. My friends, I'm so glad that you have helped me today. And I am so very, very glad that, uh, that you will, I am sure, I have no doubt, continue to help other people in your life. Amen. And thank you very much.